Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 544, Pneumocytes. What are Type 1 Pneumocytes? As we mentioned a few minutes ago that there are squamous cells that go up to the alveoli and these squamous cells make up 97% of the alveolar surface and they also line the alveoli. So these are the type 1 pneumocytes and since they are squamous cells they are thin for optimal gas diffusion. What are the type 2 pneumocytes? Type 2 pneumocytes are the cells that we mentioned a few minutes ago. They are the cuboidal cells and the respiratory bronchioles. These are the cells that are responsible for secreting pulmonary surfactant. And surfactant is important because it decreases the alveolar surface tension and therefore preventing alveolar collapse. So basically, surfactant will just lubricate the alveoli and therefore preventing its collapse. And collapsed lung is what's referred to as atelectasis. One additional thing to note about type 2 pneumocytes is that they are precursors to type 1 cells. So basically these can differentiate into type 1 cells or they can differentiate into other type 2 cells. And these are the cells that you would also see proliferating when there is lung damage. What is the collapsing pressure of an alveoli? The collapsing pressure is 2 times the surface tension divided by radius. And the reason this is the equation is because an alveoli has an increased tendency to collapse on expiration because during expiration the alveoli radius is decreased and this concept is referred to as the law of Laplace. Describe the content of surfactant. Pulmonary surfactant is a complex mix of lecithins and the most important of this is dipalmitol phosphatidylcholine. One additional thing to note about surfactant is that the synthesis of surfactant begins around week 26 of gestation but the mature levels of surfactant does not happen until week 35 of pregnancy. And the reason this is important to know is because in premature babies, they might not have mature levels of surfactant and this can lead to breathing problems. What are Clara cells? Clara cells are the non-ciliated columnar cells that have secretory granules. And these are the cells that are found in the bronchioles to protect the bronchial epithelium. Describe how Clara cells protects bronchial epithelium against toxins. Clara cells protects the bronchial epithelium by secreting components of surfactant and this degrades toxins via cytochrome P450. One additional fact about Clara cells is that they act as reserve cells. What does lecithin to sphingomyelin ratio greater than 2 indicate? Lecithin to sphingomyelin ratio greater than 2 in the amniotic fluid indicates fetal lung maturity. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.